next your concept that will be you can say it will be much related to algebra and you can say mainly functions graph all these it will be included factorials but number point of view it will be much challenging to understand how to calculate highest power of 5 or 10 initially once you understood this the number of zeros at the end means once you are writing any factorial like 23 factorial this is very big number factorial will be always big number means at the last how many zeros will be there zero will depends on number of 10 10 will depends on 2 into 5 means if we are able to count number of 5 then by default we will able to count number of 10 because 2 anyway it will be available because 2 is less than 5 the number of availability of 2s of course it will be much much more than availability of 5 then 2 no need to count only we have to count 5 if you have counted 5 the number of availability of 5 that will secure number of availability of 10 and number of availability of 10 that will give you the idea how many zeros will be there and afterwards highest power of other number or if you are comparing two composite number then that all point of time you must careful how to find it and it will become much interesting if number of zeros at multiple of 5 5 square 5 3 how it is jumping from number of zeros how it is jumping like just suppose if you are taking one factorial if you are taking one factorial the number of zeros number of zeros will be zeros we will not get anything minimum it will be five factorial then we'll get number of zeros one okay six factorial again it will be one seven factorial one eight factorial one nine factorial one but ten factorial two means nine factorial to ten factorial if you are jumping then what is happening number of zeros are increasing by one why because 10 is a multiple of 5 similar way if you are jumping 24 factorial to 25 factorial the number of 0 will jump by plus 2 why because 25 is a multiple of 5 square similar way if any number n minus 1 factorial if you are jumping to n factorial and just suppose number of zeros are increasing by 6 what is meaning meaning is n is a multiple of 5 to the power 6 this is giving multiple way the idea about the numbers its factors and how it will be related to the number of zeros like just suppose if in between some zeros are coming like for this just suppose number of zeros i am taking x then for this it will become x plus 6 if we are asking the questions how many zero will be there how many numbers will be there which are ending with the number of zeros of x plus 1 or x plus 2 or x plus 3 we will not get any number after x directly we will get x plus 6 you will not get x plus 1 0 we will not get x plus 2 0 just i am giving you idea all then factorial is another area based on that plenty of questions will framed and next is your sum and difference of squares last year also question has asked cat 19 also question has asked based on the difference of a squares almost after you can say interval of one or two years you will find the questions based on the difference of a square or sum of a squares both are similar you can just if x square minus y square equal to z square then x square we can say it is a y square plus z square this is your difference of a square this is your sum of a squares then difference difference is now only issue will be there if difference between two square number is odd then how to tackle if difference is even then how to tackle if difference is prime number or composite number then how to handle here roll of four will come why roll of four is coming because four is only one number which can be factorized into two into two means if you are just multiplying four with any number if x is even or odd whatever is there 4 is having capability to make it even by a sparing 1 2 means you can write if x is odd also then you will able to make it even by just a sparing 2 due to cyclicity of 4 will be matter in your numbers everywhere you will find many of the times cyclicity of 4 means it will change after the rotation of 4 similar way here 
how many ways we will able to write any particular number in the form of difference of a square that will depend on the cyclicity of four. You, if you are getting confused, you can just draw one R and L. This is another reserve weapon. If you are not getting anything in your quant or di anywhere, just you write one line, just to draw one line. Try to figure out something is there, how to locate, how to. You will get some idea. You will get some idea. Then here, based on the four, you will get like if it is a prime number, then how cyclicity will be decided. If it is a composite number, then how cyclicity will be decided. Odd number, then how will be decided. Okay. Or in another way, this same thing we can say. This is in how many ways we are able to factorize the number in the form of odd into odd or even into even. That will decide in how many ways we will able to write the number in the form of difference of a square. Like 45. How many ways 45 we can write in the form of odd into odd or even into even? If it is 45, it is odd, then we can't write is even into even. That is 100% sure. Then only we have to count in how many ways we can write in the form of odd into odd. And don't apply for three numbers. Don't apply for three numbers. I am telling only for this, this format a square b square equal to 45. Maybe question will be asked a square minus b square plus c square equal to 45. Then don't apply. Then don't apply. Only for two numbers. Then odd into odd 45 in how many ways we will able to write that will decide that many ways we will able to write that number in the form of difference of a square. Minimum number of ways. Based on that you can say good num amount of questions are framed. Minimum number of ways. Here counting always will be. If we will count lit like if we left any of the any of the possibilities, we will get wrong answer. Different way to express sum of squares. Sum of squares, how it will be changed. Like 3 square plus 4 square equal to 5 square. This is your lowest Pythagorean uh, triplet. How it will be changed? If we are writing 6 square plus 8 square equal to 10 square, is it valid? Yes. If we are doing any factor multiplication, it will be valid. Or any odd number is there. 3, you can just write 3 into 2 and afterwards you can factorize in 2 consecutive numbers. All these we are there. Next will be your digit sum. Based on that you will get the complete idea how you can connect all the concept together. Like digit sum is a adding the number to get the single digit number. This will give you one of the, one of the sense of understanding the number how it is repeating. And same thing we can write in the form of remainder when divided by 9 and arithmetic progression with the common difference of 9. All three ways we can use the digit sum concept. Afterwards is coming base system. Now recently you can say last from last few years questions are asking from base system a decimal to binary or other or binary to decimal or binary to, to other base. But many of the times you will find binary to decimal many of the times question will ask. If you are changing the number of digits, how will change? If number of digits are decreasing, then base are increasing or decreasing. If number of digits are decreasing, then base are increasing or decreasing. Or if number of base you have to convert from 2 to 6, then what do you have to do? Similar way, just in between you have to bring decimal. If you are not bringing decimal, then what will happen? Calculation may become complicated. Then it is best way. Binary you convert into decimal, again decimal you convert into base 6 it will be easy many of the times we can apply shortcut techniques or 